Hello, Stanley High School. Welcome to our Monday SOAR Dare to Define Yourself meeting. It's good to see all of you today. Um, I just want to begin with letting you know how you can reach out to me just as a reminder. Um, I have a Teams group set up for everybody. Um, seventh and eighth grade, I still have to put your email addresses in. But this is a great way for you to get a hold of me. Teams, um, email, um, you can text or call me on my uh, school phone. It's 701-621-0044. I will have that on and with me during the, the school day hour, so you can reach me that way. Um, we have the, the school, the Stanley High School Counseling Instagram that you can DM me on. Um, so those are some ways for you to reach out and get a hold of me during this time. There is going to be a form that's going to be shared into our Teams groups and on Thrillshare and places like that that kind of defines what a virtual school counselor looks like during this time. So it's a really good information on how to get a hold of me, what I'm going to be working on during this time. Um, if you or a friend is having suicidal thoughts, there is information on there for what you can do during that time. Um, so look for that coming out today and tomorrow to you, all right? Um, our unit that we are going to focus on in our Dare to Define You program is growth. So this is kind of a really weird time to think about focusing on growth, but it is something that we need to focus on because even though we are self-distancing, um, we can still grow in this time. And uh, I'm going to share just a couple quotes with you. The first one is this, you can outgrow your yesterdays and grow into your tomorrows. You want to grow through life, not just go through life. So when you think about that, this is a bump in our life right now. Um, we are all having to overcome different things, different losses, um, ups and downs, um, different struggles. So know that we want to grow through this, not just go through it. So when we're all done and we look back, we can take this moment and know that we are stronger and better because of it. The road to success is knowing your strengths and developing them. Growth sets you apart from others and working on your strength ex strengths establishes deep roots, allowing you to grow stronger, taller, and further. So that's what we're going to be focusing on the next few weeks while we are self-distancing. I have included in all of your team groups daily quarantine questions to help you grow. Uh, the first one is, who am I checking in with today? Who am I connecting with today? So I woke up this morning and we had a staff meeting over Teams and I was filled with sadness and grief. Um, I felt like looking at all of the faces of our staff, um, reality hit me like this is seriously how we're meeting and I missed them. And then as we hung up, I realized that I wasn't going to be walking through the hallways high-fiving and giving hugs and saying things like, oh, thank God that weekend is over. I just wanted to be in school, didn't you? And that made me sad. And I had a moment of, of grief of what our world looks like in this moment. And I talked to a good friend who told me, you're going to hang up the phone, you're going to set it down, and you're going to go outside and you're going to feel the fresh air and you're going to hear the birds singing and you're just going to sit in that for a little bit and focus on the outdoors around you, not on what our reality is right now. And then I called another friend after I did that and we talked for a while about what we're hurting about right now and we lifted one another up and I was able to move on. So number one is this, who are you checking on or connecting with today? Number two, what expectations of normal am I letting go of? So I am letting go of the fact that I can't walk down the hallways 
and greet you and lift you up, but I can do it through technology. And so that's what I'm letting go of right now. What are you letting go of? How are you getting outside today? It's going to be gorgeous today, like 60 degrees. How are you getting outside yet practicing social distancing? I am going to walk to um, the places that I need to go to um, to check in with people um, in, my, in my job. So that's how I'm going to go for a walk today. How are you getting outside? How am I moving my body today? I have an arms workout that I'm going to be doing also today to keep moving. So how are you moving your body? Are you stretching? Are you doing yoga? Are you, are you doing workouts? Um, you can Google 15 minute workouts and, and they'll, tons will show up. So how are you moving your body? How are you expressing your creativity today? Um, I'm making videos, so that's how I'm expressing my creativity. How are you? What type of self-care are you practicing? My self-care was really giving myself 15 minutes to just go outside and sit for a moment, to name the things I could hear, to name the things I could feel, to name the things that I could smell, and to name the things that I could see. How are you practicing self-care? And then what are you grateful for today? Um, in my journal that I have, I named the things that I am thankful for, here's my journal, and the things that I am missing, um, but I named what I'm grateful for today. Our mission today is, or for this whole week, is to find a song each day that makes you happy and brings a smile to your face, and then share, share that on your social media. So I'll try to share the best I can on my Instagram, the songs that bring a smile to my face, and... Um, make me happy. So far during this time, two songs that, that I love because they make me, they're just upbeat and they make me happy is Stay in the Dark by the band Perry and The Way That You Love Me by Faith Hill. So those are my songs for, for today that make me be able to move forward and not get stuck in my grief and sadness because I'm, I'm okay with feeling that sadness, but I don't want to get stuck in it hope that makes sense to you all. I want to end our SOAR meeting today with a story that I got permission from the publisher. Um, the publisher is uh, Compendium, and the story is something that I found on my trip when I went to Utah this fall, and I, I saw it in the store, and I had to buy it because it reminded me of you all. I want you all to know how how worthy you are and how you all have a purpose here on this earth. And during this time, I want you to hold on to the dreams that you have. I want you to take every day and grow from it. Um, and so today I'm going to end with this story called Maybe. It's a story about the endless potential in all of us. Written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by Gabriella Barouch. Maybe. Have you ever wondered why you are here? You are the only you there has ever been or ever will be. And you have so much to offer. Maybe you will invent something that no one else has ever seen before. Maybe you will build the things that reach high into the sky. Your life is yours. Try as many things as you can try. See as much as you can see. Wherever you go, take your hopes, pack your dreams, and never forget, it is on journeys that discoveries are made. Maybe you will help others to see the beauty in each day. Or maybe you will lift cheering crowds onto their
do everything with love and follow your heart and see where it leads you. Maybe you are here to shine a light into places that have been dark for way too long. Maybe you'll speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Maybe you are here to help in ways that only you can help. There will be struggles, and there will be fears, and it won't always be easy. At times, it will feel really hard, and you might make a mess of things, and you might fall down. You may fail, but you will also get back up and you will rise a little stronger and a little taller because there really is more inside you than you know. And this world needs your gifts. This world needs your talents. This world needs your big ideas. And maybe you are just getting stuck. What if you are only scratching the surface of what you can do and what you can be? What if you have talents you haven't discovered yet? There is something powerful, even magical, about you. You already have everything it takes to do big things. Maybe you have no idea just how good you really can be, and maybe you don't know how much you matter, but maybe, just maybe the world has been waiting centuries for someone exactly like you. One thing is for sure, you are here. And because you are here, anything is possible. Stanley Blue Jays, go and be yourself. Be safe, stay healthy, and know that I love and I miss each and every one of you. Have a super week.